So I am sitting down to play with some of my products from Dior. I have an almost full face of products. I've got primer, uh, foundation primer, foundation powder, eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer. I don't have concealer, blush, or like contour bronzer. But if I like all of these, I've been using them already, but if I continue to like them, then maybe I'll see if there is a concealer that is part of the backstage collection because that seems to be the one that I really like. As we do that, I just have to tell you a story about me trying to get internet in my office, okay? Okay, here is the backstage primer and I, I didn't buy this originally when I bought the foundation. There it is. Didn't buy it originally um, because I didn't realize that it existed. But then I was like, I wonder if there's a primer because oftentimes I like to use the primer that the brand suggests to go with their foundation just to see, you know, how they go together. This one is like a lotion consistency. It does have a slight scent to it. It smells like, you know when you, back in the day, when you would go into the department store and like, it's just like all the perfumes kind of mixed together. That's kind of what it smells like. It's not bad and it's not like wafting out or anything. I don't smell it on my face. <laughs> um, and it seems like it's smoothed things out. It hasn't made anything like super matte. There's still a bit of a glow on my face. So yeah, I've been enjoying it. I don't like the packaging because it's just getting dirty already. So moving on to the foundation, I have the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation and there is a suggestion to pair the face and body um, primer with the foundation. Now I have two shades. I have 6N and 7N. 6N, 7N. The reason I got these is I can make either one work, but it seems like together they're like the perfect color. So I have heard quite a few people talking about, not quite a few, a couple, a couple people talking about having difficulty finding their like perfect match in the shades. And so I think there can be a little bit of improvement in that. Like if there was like a 6.5 or a 6.75, I would probably get that one. But for now, um, especially with not having as much color as I usually do, mixing them seems to work best. Where is my little palette? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so. So I had not worked, I have not really worked in my office since we signed the lease in 2020, right before the, everything shut down. But now it's like okay the renovations are done like everybody's getting furniture delivered and stuff it's a suite of five of us five therapists and we're like okay like we can start to slowly maybe start to come back to the office i'm like cool i would love to see my office <laughs> um so everything is on like you know lights we had this whole to do with the locks, but now we have like a keypad or something. Who shall I not tell you? And so I was like, okay guys, like, you know, we're gonna need internet because for now everybody's still doing teletherapy. So of course we need internet to be able to provide that service. And so I was like, I can go ahead and start getting some quotes and stuff and I, talk to people to find it, talk in people in the building to find out what provider they used. And so we went with the one that starts with C. Because everybody said that's what they had. So this is like in the summer. This is like in the summer. I got my quotes and stuff in June or July. We got internet in October. <sighs> I'm already <laughs> Okay, so I get the quote from 
J. Let's call him J. J's like, hello, thanks for like, you know, uh, going with us and here's the fee. When can we set it up? And I'm like, well, like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I have to ask four of the people what they think about it. And so, you know, everybody's like working and they have like small kids and stuff. And so it takes a bit of time for folks to get back to me. Like we have a group text for our suite. And also we were like, you know, like we're probably not gonna get in there until like August. So we have a little bit of time. In the meantime, Jay is just like emailing me, calling me like a bugaboo every couple of days. And I'm like, Jay, listen, listen, sir, I get it, okay? We're gonna go with you and directly with you. I don't know if you get commission or nothing, but don't worry, we gonna stay with you, Jay. But just give me a second so I can find out from my colleagues and friends, like what we gonna do. So we decided, okay, that sounds good, especially splitting it five ways. Let's go ahead and move forward. And I'm like, cool. By this time, Jay went on vacation. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, let's let's aim for like August, September when like the college kids are back and all that stuff. So we set up a date. Where's my concealer? I'm just gonna use a concealer that I've been using since I don't have one from Dior. So we set up the day and that was a lot of back and forth because one of us had to be there and that takes coordinating because all of us are therapists, meaning that we typically have like back to back folks or like weird schedules and things like that. And I live, at like 45 minutes from my office and I was like I'm not driving over there for that <laughs> so just going back and forth with my sweet mates to figure out like who can be there and so we figured it out and I was like cool Jay we can go ahead and schedule it we're all excited the day comes and one of my sweeties sweet mates is in the office waiting she's like working while just waiting for the person to come so Technician one comes. Yeah, there's more than one. Technician one comes and technician one is like, where's your IT department? <sighs> what? <laughs> we don't have one. It's five independent practice therapists. We don't have an IT department. And so that was the first thing that I was like, what you talking about? What? I don't understand. He was like, oh, well, it would be, we need to talk to your IT department. So my colleague calls me to tell me all of this and she's like, and by the way, he's sitting with his legs propped up on my desk. And I'm like, are you kidding? And I was like, okay, like what, what do we need to do? And he was like, well, I can't install it today. So um, I'm just gonna like survey and then somebody's gonna come back and install it. And we're like, okay, that's fine. We're therapists, we roll with the punches. <sighs> I'm gonna set my under eyes and my concealer with the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. So we schedule another day for them to come out and to install it. And this took more time because we had to, you know, figure out who would be there. This time a different therapist was gonna be there. So I'm really just trying to impress upon them like there are five of us and I have all five of us on the account. All five of us are administrative access on the account, right? I'm like, somebody will be there but you just have to tell us the time so that we can make it work. We wanna work with you. So I get a call. And my office manager is like on the phone and I'm like, why? Like, why? They, why? <laughs> and she's like, oh, they just need somebody to come downstairs and let them in. I'm like, it's literally like an eight to 10 story office building. You can walk right in. So I could not understand why this person needed a personal escort. So the person who was in our office, a sweet mate, She's heavily pregnant, right? But I have to get a hold of her and be like, you know that 10, 15 minutes we have between sessions, 
instead of taking care of yourself, can you go downstairs and escort this man up to our office? And she was like, okay. Because if I was there, I wasn't going to do it. So she does that. After a while, she's like updating us. Some of it's bad. Some of it's good. But finally, she's like, we're good to go. We have internet. She sends a picture. And I'm like, WTF. Internet was installed. But the wires are just hanging. And I'm like, is that... Is that how it's supposed to be? I thought they like hide wires and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna email them. I'm gonna email Jay and ask like, if this is the right way to do things. And so I email Jay, cause, cause nobody else is gonna do it. I think I'm probably the most assertive in the office. I'm also the only one my shade, my color. I'm the only black person. So I'm like, Jay, you know, look at this picture and tell me, like, is that what it's supposed to be like? I'm just, like, trying to figure it out. And he's like, oh, no, that's so unprofessional. Um, we're going to get this fixed. Mind you, beforehand, the technician, technician two, told my colleague, the pregnant one, that they were going to come back and they were going to fix the wires. Okay, great. You know, we will figure it out. We will have somebody there. But the thing is, the day came and they were supposed to get there, I think, at like 1.30. 1.30 past, 2, 2.30, 3, 3.30. And I'm like, did they put the wires away? Did they hide them or whatever? And she was like, no, nobody showed up. So that's when I emailed Jay. I'm going to go in with my Milani cream blush in Merlot moment. That's when I emailed Jay. And Jay is like, okay, we're gonna get this figured out. Um, just give me some time, you know, and I'm trying to contact customer service to be like, listen, one of your technicians said that they were going to come out and do this and then like no one showed up. So I'm just trying to figure out like what we should do or just like heads up. And they're like, huh, we don't have anything on the calendar for you. I was like, okay, well, I mean, that's what he said. And home dude, this was T. T was like, I don't know why he said that. I was like, so you mean to tell me you have technicians working for you that just go about and tell people stuff? I was getting so upset. <laughs> I was like, I don't have time for this. I was getting so upset because I felt like they were giving us the runaround. It's like two, three months later. Why don't we have internet? <sighs> or we do have internet, but it looks a mess. And he's like, yeah, we don't have anything in the system saying that this was supposed to happen, but like we can come out and do it and it'll be a hundred dollars. And I was like, what we're not going to do, T, is we are not going to charge me for y'all to do something that you said you was going to do. Like I was starting to get... I remember I was so upset and I was like, listen, T, I'm not mad at you. I am mad at this situation because I've been dealing with y'all for several months and I still don't have internet and everybody's telling me something different. And all I need is for you to come and put the wires behind the wall. So he's like, well, I don't know. Like we, we're going to have to charge you. So I was like, what you're saying is, what you're saying is you have a technician that told me, really told my colleague, that he was going to come back and put the wires behind the wall and it was going to be free. And now, T, you're trying to tell me you're going to charge me for that? I was like, I want the number to corporate. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Who am I call? But <laughs> in the meantime... Jay is like, hey, like, we're going to fix this. Um, I'm going in with my Danessa Myricks power bronzer. We're going to fix this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, cool. Technician three comes. We can't do this. I was like, sir, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I was like, say it to me slowly. What do you mean? And he was like, well, we can't do it because we didn't put this in. 
I lost it again. I was like, what you mean you didn't? <laughs> he was like, what do you mean? I don't understand. Break it down for me. And he was like, no, 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 I mean, we didn't put in the wall. Like, you're gonna need to talk to an electrician or like the building construction people. And I was like, listen, sir, you're the third technician. Y'all are telling us one thing and then somebody's coming back and telling us something else. Like, I'ma need somebody to go ahead and put those wires behind the wall. So what are we gonna do? And so he was like, oh, because I also was like, I wanna speak to your manager. <laughs> so he was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna, you know, have my manager come in. So the manager emails me back and he's like, we're gonna fix this, we're gonna get it right because I am fuming. Technician four. So he comes and he like does something, but not much. Like the wires look a little bit better, but it just, it looks, it looks unprofessional. You know, like you walk in, you've got this nice office, you've got these gorgeous therapists and you got these wires. <sighs> Needless to say, I'm pretty sure that the C company has like my name on a do not answer list. Because when I tell you, I I lost it. I think it was just like all the pandemic stress and it just came out. And, and mind you, we're also doing this in between business hours, right? In between business hours, when we're all seeing therapists, back to back, or we're all seeing clients, back to back, back usually have 10, 15 minutes in between sessions if you are like holding to your time. So that means you have to eat. That means you have to pee. You have to write your notes. You have to do all of that within this time, right? But I could not because I had to keep calling C. So I was hungry. I had to pee. I had notes to write. And they were telling me, what you mean? We didn't tell you that. And I just, I just like, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I apologized. I was like, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. But this has been several months in the making. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then, then they were trying to charge us for like August. I was like, what internet did we use in August? It just got installed. <laughs> Oh my God, it was just like, it was too much. I'm I'm sure it took a couple hours off my life. Like I had to check my blood pressure after that because I was just too through with them, okay? Whew. All right, so I've got the Amber Neutrals palette as well as the Bronze Neutrals palette. And I'm gonna pop this open and show you. These are these two are one of their, um, or these are two of their backstage eyeshadow palettes. And even though they're nine pan, there are eight shades. And then this here is a cream primer, eye primer. And so that is for all of the palettes that are in this um, backstage line. And so that can be kind of annoying for some people. I don't really mind it, um, but you do lose a shade. And then also if you buy like multiples of these like different um, color stories, then you're gonna have a concealer or a primer in each one. And that can just be kind of annoying. Um, but the nice thing is that if you are trying to pack less or something, then you've got one less thing to pack because you've already got your eye primer in here. So I'm gonna go in with the bronze neutrals. So that's the story of getting our internet. It seems fine now. I'm gonna go ahead and use this eye primer. It seems fine. I'm relatively sure they never wanna hear from me again, ever in life. But you know, I think nobody else was gonna do it. <laughs> like. And therapists are really nice, typically. They are, and I usually am. But it just was, 
I I just couldn't. How would you handle it? You tell me how you would handle it because I really want to know. Because I, I lost my patience. I, like... <laughs> Ooh, I sent so many emails and asked for corporate and your supervisor. Oh, I was pulling out the Karen in me. I was pulling it out, girl. Because it just, it felt like they were taking advantage of like therapists who aren't going to say anything. I was like, oh, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, not going to happen. So now we have internet. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the shade. Now we have internet, it seems fine, it works well. Um, I mean, we're gonna get like, we're gonna eventually have like a water cooler thing and that's probably going to go kind of like in front where the wires are and hopefully that works to make it just look a bit more palatable. Um, because this is like right as soon as you walk in the door, it's just like, it hits you in the face. So whew, now we have internet and, um, yeah, that's like the end of the story. So I'm now going to go in with this shade here in the middle, the gold one. Now the shades don't have any specific names. It seems like the names that are on here are just kind of describing the shade color. So this one is literally just called gold and it tells you the type of finish it is. So it's a metal finish. So you've got shimmer, metal, and matte. The only matte in here is this one here, and that is a smoky black. So I'm just gonna use my finger. I've been using my finger more to do eyeshadow lately. I'm just packing that on. I think what I'm going to do is use the smoky black shade to kind of smoke it out a little bit. There's a little bit of fallout, not anything terrible like barely any honestly it looks like basically just the shimmer has some fallout going on but otherwise it seems fine I'm gonna go into that black I'm gonna bring it up a little bit So now I am ready to finish everything off with some powder. And this is the Gior Backstage Powder, no powder, powder. And I have it in the shade 6 Neutral. This feels, ooh, yes. Ooh, it feels like I'm just rubbing a teddy bear against my face. Hmm, that feels nice. So here is everything. I used the Dior Backstage Primer Foundation uh, powder that I just used as well as eyeshadow palette. Now I actually really like these eyeshadow palettes. I think they are good for like quick looks. You've got lots of shimmers in here. Um, if you want to do like a shimmer and then a matte, uh, the only matte you do have is the black in this one, the bronze palette, bronze neutrals. But I find that you can use some of these deeper shimmers too if you wanted to put that in the outer corner of your eyes. And then I'm looking at the amber neutrals and this one has more mattes so this one actually has three mattes and the middle row is all shimmers so each one is a little different i think if you are planning to pick any of these up wait for a sale and 
it'll just kind of depend on the color story that you enjoy the most. I know someone, one of you said that you got the rosewood one, which looks really pretty. It's like cool neutrals. Um, I'm eyeing that one and maybe warm neutrals but this amber neutrals is pretty warm in my opinion anyway thank you for listening to me rant about my experience i appreciate it i just had to tell somebody and hope this was helpful and i will see you next time